everybody, it's Emily from the Adelaide Hunter Hoodless Homestead and today we are going to do a curatorial tour through our new exhibit. First and foremost, we are Mothers, Social Activism in the WF. This exhibit focuses on some of the unknown or underrepresented issues that the WI has tackled over the years with a stronger focus on 1930 to 2012. Let's take a look. In 1930, the Prince Edward Island WI assisted with opening the first sanatorium in, in order to combat tuberculosis in the province. And on display, we have an invalid cup. This is kind of like a sippy cup that is used to help people who are too weak to drink or eat. In 1938, the WI prompted the government of Ontario to ban the sale of raw milk. This was Adelaide's original goal back in the 1890s after the untimely death of her youngest child. And on display, we have a queen picture from our collection. Throughout the Second World War, many WI branches sent support to the troops by raising funds and sending care packages, similar to what the Red Cross was doing at the time. On display, we have a straight razor, some sugar, tea, jam, and some socks. These were all luxuries that soldiers oftentimes did not have and were very greatly appreciated on the war front. In 1958, the WI asked that it be made mandatory that traffic stop in both directions when children are entering or exiting from a school bus. On display, we have a mock-up of what that would look like using toy cars. In 1964, the WI proposes to have containers marked more vividly to warn workers of toxic contents. And on display, we have a plastic bottle that has been clearly labeled to indicate that the contents are corrosive and can be dangerous if, with, if mixed with other chemicals, using the pictograms from the Workplace Hazards Materials Information System, as well as the Occupational Health and Safety Administration's label for the first aid. In 1968, the WI proposed to make mandatory the use of a breathalyzer and blood test to determine sobriety. This became law in 1968. And on display, we have a little diorama depicting someone getting pulled over for suspected impaired driving. The WI's efforts to curb drinking and driving helped create laws and anti-drinking and driving groups across the country. Fun fact, Mad Canada was formed in 1989. In 1983, the Ontario WI proposed a resolution to have all assisted devices covered by the Ontario Health Insurance Plan. On display, we have a couple of examples of health insurance cards for the province of Ontario, the old one and the one that is now used today. From 1940 until 1969, the Ontario Medical Association ran a not-for-profit called Physician Services, Inc., which was a doctor-sponsored prepaid medical care program for Ontarians. In 1998, the Prince Edward Island WI raises over $260,000 for a stereotactic mammogram machine at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Prince Edward Island. This machine is used to detect tumors in the breast using low-dose x-rays to help locate any abnormalities. According to the Canadian Cancer Society, one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their, her lifetime, and this technology is vital to early detection, as it can see tumors that can't be seen in an ultrasound. In 2003, the FWIC asked several ministries to act together to ban the use of plastic groceries bags in stages, a limit of two bags per customer in 2005, and a complete ban by 2006. As of 2012, Ontario retailers need to supply customers with recyclable bags, and in 2021, the Canadian government began to implement a ban on single-use plastics. And in our display case, we have examples of single-use plastics. In 2011, the FWIC inquires about the dangers of high amounts of sodium in our food. The Food and Drug Administration in the United States is currently putting forth new guidelines for sodium intake in prepackaged foods. On display, we have two types of salt shakers. On the left hand side, we have a modern salt shaker from our gift shop, and on the right, we have a historic salt shaker from our collection. In 2012, the FWIC continues to fight to stop the sale of raw milk, despite the Government of Canada making its sale illegal in 1991. And on display, we have a carton of milk 
that it's clearly labeled pasteurized and this means that it is not raw milk and it is safe for consumption.